I know how to make your elevator pitch perfect, but why should you trust me? Or me. Or me. If you knew that we teach business at the University of Dayton, or that we lead a nationally ranked entrepreneurship program and host one of the top business plan competitions in the country, and we've heard thousands of elevator pitches over the years, then you might be more interested in hearing our advice. The last step in your elevator pitch is to transmit trust in your team. It's important to show that you're more capable than anyone else of executing your plan. You don't want them to think, oh, great idea, but they will never pull it off. Emphasize why you, and only you and your team, have the unique skills to make this work. You want to reinforce, in their minds, your expert capacity to execute. Let's see some examples from winning teams of past competitions. NotMyMajors.com, not Naviance. In 2014, we launched, marketed the service, and made sales. We have 16 connections with high schools and a developed curriculum. As a board-certified practicing medical oncologist in Dayton, I founded Phytodense Foods and developed its products as a convenient, delicious way to add phytonutrients to one's diet. Then our unique matching software generates the perfect blend of travel partners, and our travel experts create an unforgettable custom trip. That's a great start. Anything else? Just a few pointers to increase your chances of winning. Ah, click here for your next stop.